Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Java 11 overview session. My name is Bonor de Traversat. I am the Vice President of Engineering of the Java Platform Group at Oracle. I am responsible for the Java SE development team. I have been working on the Java platform since 1998 and have managed Java platform development since Java 7. First, we'll talk about the new six months release cadence. Second, we will provide an overview of the new features introduced in Java 11. Third, we will discuss the key advantages to upgrade to Java 11. Fourth, we will discuss the recently introduced new monthly Java SE support subscriptions. Pre-GDK 9, the release cycle for major GDK releases was about two years. While we plan for two years, as it is unfortunately the case with large and complex feature-driven projects, we ended up delaying the release by more than 12 months to ensure that the long pole features, Lambda in GDK 8 and Module in GDK 9, were fully done. While this release model worked well for Java for many years, the advance of modern app development, the requirements for more frequent software upgrade due to security concerns, and the industry trend to use continuous integration system with more frequent upgrades have led us to explore a faster and more predictable release model for Java. As Jessica Kern you know, wrote recently, the software industry has discovered that small and frequent updates make feature delivery both faster and safer. Java is no exception. In agreement with the OpenGDK community, we moved to a six-month release cadence. While we were moving to the six-month release cadence, we also took the opportunities to revamp the GDK version numbering. We set on on the simple numbering scheme that increased the major release number by one for each six-month release. This new numbering scheme allows us to deliver Java language productivity improvement in a six-month release. By GCP rule, language changes to the Java specifications requires us to increase the major release number. Besides the challenge to move from eight to nine, the overall feedback is that people we moved to nine found the move to 10 trivial. For instance, IDE supported the new VAR syntax features introduced in GDK 10 by the launch. It is still early as the ecosystem needs to transition to the new model, but we remain optimistic the new six months release cadence will continue to be successful. While we were considering a faster release cadence, we also acknowledge the need for more stable and long-term supportive releases. Many enterprise workloads are likely to need more time to uptake new Java releases. To address this concern, we decided to identify roughly every three years a six month release cadence as a long term supporting release. This model of six months and long term or LTS releases is not new within our industry and is already being used by many software distributions such as Linux. So, in summary, six month releases are all about rapid pace of innovations, improved performance, and continuous integrations. LTS releases are all about long term commitments to provide stability and security updates to our enterprise users. As we were changing the release model, we also thought that it was the right time to address feedback on the Java BCL license. The binary code license, or BCL, has been the predominant license for the Java technology for well over a decade. To clarify licensing going forward, Oracle will now be producing two identical GDK distributions out of the same OpenGDK source code for all the platform we support. Oracle OpenGDK will be available under the GPL license for free for users normally accustomed to the BCR. Oracle GDK release under the Oracle commercial license for commercial support. This transition is going very well, and we are now producing Oracle OpenGDK builds and OpenGDK builds, and Oracle GDK builds since GDK 9. We are now 99% there with the convergence between Oracle OpenGDK and Oracle GDK with GDK 11. A common misunderstanding on Oracle GDK 11 going commercial and Java not being free anymore is that now we are also producing Oracle OpenGDK build under the free GPL license. So you should consider the new 
or I call upon GDK Build as the old public update. In fact, there have always been a six-month release cadence for the GDK. It was just numbered differently. When you went from HU20, HU40, to HU60, then you were on the six-month release cadence of roughly the same scope. So you need to consider the free Oracle OpenGDK 12, 13, and 14 releases as all numbering, 11 update 20, 11 update 40, and 11 update 60. Yes, Java is still free. JDK 11 is delivering 17 new major features. I will not cover all the new features in this video. I encourage you to watch the other video we have published on this channel. Besides internal JVM features to improve the efficiency of the JVM, such as JEP 181, nest-based access control, JEP 209, dynamic constant, I want to mention JEP 321 the new HTTP stack that is graduating from being an incubator of features and will significantly improve HTTP performance. JEP 331 provides low overhead profiling and is a contribution from Google. As we announce, we are removing CORBA and Java E component from GDK 11. CORBA and the Java E module will still be available as separate module to ensure a smooth transitions to our Java EE users. We also announce announcing in GDK 11 our intent to deprecate Nashorn and PAC 200. Now that Java has a module system, we can more clearly separate optional modules from the core platform and let those modules evolve at their own pace. In GDK 11, we are introducing a new feature to simplify the on-ramp of new Java developers. For GDK 11, allow you to launch a single Java source file from a single command instead of the previous two steps, compile and then run. This is going in the direction to reduce the friction for new developers to learn Java. We are very excited to introduce in GDK 11 an experimental new low latency GC, JEP 333 VGC. VGC implements a novel approach to GC, enabling full concurrent collections with smart read barriers that will allow to deliver predictable, very low post time of a few milliseconds at the scale of a multi-terabyte heap. All this with only a small throughput reduction, less than 15%. Delivering ZGC requires us to look at the entire JVM latency, GC runtime and compiler. We are very excited about the future that the GC will enable by taking into account hardware memory latency characteristics to optimize object locations in different regions of the heap. Security is an essential part and critical element of the Java platform. We are massively investing in security to keep the Java platform secure. JEP 332 is implementing TLS 1.3. TLS 1.3 is a major overall of the TLS protocol and provides significant security and performance improvement. TLS 1.3 supersedes previous version of TLS, including version 1.2. We are very pleased also to follow through on our commitment to, to open source the Java Fly Recorder commercial features. Java Fly Recorder provides extremely low overhead profiling capabilities, less than 1%. Profiling built deep inside the JVM and the GDK. Always on in production deployment for mission critical workload and more accurate allocation profiling with automatic memory leak detections. A great feature. There are so many reasons why you want to upgrade to GDK 11, especially if you are still on GDK 8. GDK 9, GDK 10, and now GDK 11 introduced significant stability, functionality, and performance improvements compared to GDK. To name a few, Compact String is reducing footprint in startup up to 30% heap reductions and 20% startup. C2 JIT compiler crypto intrinsic from Intel up to 30% crypto performance improvement. Overall G1 improvements as G1 become the default GC in GDK9. Application Last data sharing, up to 30% startup improvement 
and 20% footprint reductions. Another commercial feature that we open source, making Java more open. We highly recommend that you upgrade to GDK 11. We are very pleased to recently introduce a new, simplified, and affordable Java AC support subscription to our enterprise customer. The new pricing model is $25 per month per processor for servers, $2.50 per month per user for desktop. Significant discount is available for large deployment support. For example, if you're looking up to 20,000 processor support, it will be discounted at 50% of $12.50. We are already making Java support affordable to everyone and to our customers. You can find more information on the provided link. Why choosing Oracle for commercial support? Simply because you want support from the steward of the Java platform, the company that is leading the development of Java in OpenGDK and has the deepest expertise to address any of your mission-critical issues in all areas of the platform, from client, security, tool, library, JVM, GC, runtime, JIT compiler, serviceability, and language. More than 90% of the development of the Java platform is done by Oracle engineers in OpenGDK. You will get access to performance, stability, and security updates directly from Oracle. Beyond GDK 11 support, you will also get access to GDK 8 and 7 security updates, 24 by 7 support, and access to critical bug fixes before they get included in publicly available releases. All this with a simple monthly subscription prices. Pay as you use and pay as your business is growing. In summary, we have accelerated the pace of innovations for Java with six months release while providing stability, security, and commitment to enterprise users with Oracle GDK LTS releases. GDK 11 is packed with innovations, security, productivity, and performance improvement. We have followed up on our commitment to open source all our commercial features, GA4, AppCDS, and ZGC, and make Java more open and free. We have simplified Java licensing by transitioning out of the BCL license and delivering now both Oracle OpenGDK under the free GPL license and Oracle GDK under a commercial license for commercial support. Yes, Java continues to be free. We introduced a new support subscriptions to make Java long-term support more affordable to everyone. Beyond Java 11, we have a very solid and exciting technical roadmap. I would like to take this opportunity to especially thank everyone that contributed to GK 11. Let's continue to innovate and advance the Java platform together. Thanks for watching.